Good morning, Doug Levi, Strategic Insurance Services, InsuranceSideHustling.com, and InsuranceTrainers.com. Today I'm shooting a video on how to do some professional liability uh, that can be pretty simple online through a tune. So professional liability <clears throat> can be a great line of business. Realtors, accountants, attorneys, doctors, everybody kind of knows on that. There's so much service-based business today and consulting, and most of that has at some level of professional exposure. Uh, meaning you make a recommendation, or you forget to do something, and it doesn't happen, the client has a claim. That's the coverage for it. A little different than like slip and fall. So I'm going to do this here and just kind of shoot a quick video on how to do this. This is actually for uh, one of our, our, our uh, side hustle advisors and friends who's also a realtor and needs some help with his professional liability. So shout out to Angel and Daryl on his team. who are um, we're excited for them to do some, some great things here. So... Um, first thing, most of these start with a supplemental application <clears throat> in terms of where you would get the info from. So I sent them a supplemental that looks like this. In this case, it's a real estate errors and emissions uh, supplemental. I'm going to be mindful to, to try not to share some of the specifics about their, their business, but thought this would be a good overview. <clears throat> um, a lot of these supplementals you can look up online. Right, so like we have a lot on our Dropbox file, but if and I'll just do this real quick here. If I type in like real estate agent insurance supplemental, okay, or insurance application, you're gonna normally see a PDF at some level pop up that you can work from to get some of the basic info that we would need. Okay, and a lot of these you're gonna see common questions, maybe just put in a different way. Okay, so we've got that. We just we go to a tune. A tune is one of our easier carriers to work with. They do a lot of uh, different lines of business, and they're uh, very tech savvy, and they make it very easy. So I recommend them if they can do it. Okay, so putting in info here, um, we would put in address, all this kind of good stuff. They're normally pretty good about pulling up. Through, and then real estate agency and then the carrier will tell you what they can do so right now we can't do bops for them uh, for real estate or really for anything right now with the tune they used to be able to do that we'll be able to do it soon there's some things they're working on in the background with the new carrier uh, but here it says professional liability it says get a quote Great. so we're gonna click get a quote and then we'll go to um, bring us to the next page here a lot of times Professional liability is going to be a function of either sales, payroll, uh, number of agents or accounts, things like that. Okay, So we're going to put in the effective date, <clears throat> what we need to buy, class of business. So we'll type in real estate agent broker. Structure is going to ask probably is it an LLC, what is it? Okay, uh, Business owner's first name. And again, for some of this stuff, for just for sake of... Privacy, I'm not going to put all this info in right now. See if it'll let me go to the next screen. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just uh, put my screen down for a second. Put it over here. You can see cute pictures of my kids. I will go ahead and fill this in. And then come back in a second. You guys always want to think about privacy, obviously the best we can in terms of protecting people's privacy. Just trying to help show some info here though. Let me see. Okay, so I'm going to go over here. Okay, and some more info, number of locations. So just have one location. Most people need a million dollars of liability. Uh, you can put deductible amounts. You can do anywhere from a thousand to ten thousand. I would normally do like twenty five hundred or five thousand. Again, gross revenue for now. I'm going to flip the screen over here so that's sort of shielded. <clears throat> so we'll put that in. And um, it is going to ask for how many agents or brokers as well. I'll put that in as well. And it's asking for, on this part here now, it's going to ask for some other things that aren't maybe as... as you know, sort of sensitive, so just asking for, um, you know, average sale. So what would that look like? It would really depend on, okay, well, how many sales did they have, and then what was their 
uh, what was the gross <clears throat> gross commissions, right? So, and then what percentage of commissions are dual agency where a business represents both buyer and seller? And ask some other questions from here. Does the business have exclusive sales relationship with any developer, et cetera, et cetera? Do they provide any of the following services? Yes or no? How many short sales? All that. Really, here's what this comes down to. Once we finish that, we will then get a quote. So after that, we would click submit. We get a quote. We can then get a credit card from a client, and you can bind it right online. So I'm not going to finalize this here again just for sake of uh, confidentiality, but I wanted to just highlight that here and saying in terms of running professional liability or errors and emissions, it's pretty simple to do, basically going right to our uh, RoboForm and pulling up the tune and doing it through there. So any questions or I can help you guys in any way, let me know. Dream big and make it happen. Have a great day.